Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about a real important understanding when it comes to using self-love to manifest a specific person. There is a way that people are using self-love to manifest their specific person and it is working. And there is a way that people are using self-love to manifest their specific person and it is not working. So I want to talk about the difference between these two approaches. It's really important to understand. And I feel that self-love is the foundational component to manifest your specific person not only manifest them, but manifest them in a consistent way. We're not just calling them in. We're manifesting a consistent ongoing relationship with them that we want to be in that feels amazing. Self-love is one of the main ways to do that. And so, yeah, this is a really important distinction. I'm excited to jump into it with you. Before I do jump in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. There are 13 courses down there. I can help you manifest anything you want. There are two self-love courses, but really self-love is probably integrated into every single course I have down there because that's how important self-love is. I have found for myself is if, or when I finally developed a very deep experience of self-love, manifesting became incredibly easy. And it makes sense why that is. I'll talk a little bit about that in this video. The last thing I'll say is I do a weekly giveaway for a bundle of three ebooks that I wrote. The way to enter into the contest is to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, and to comment below. I give three ebooks to three people every week. Okay, let's jump in. So self-love, self-love. First of all, why is it so important? I mean, I've talked about this before, obviously, but it is that important. And I'll just say briefly why it's important to manifest your specific person or anything else in your life. And people have different opinions about this, but my opinion is for sure, if you develop self-love, you really, that's the keys, man. That's the keys to manifesting everything you want. And the reason is, well, there's a couple things I want to say about this, but the reason is when you are landed in such deep admiration, love, uh, you're maybe you're like just taken by yourself when you think you are amazing, when you think you are beautiful, when you think you are incredible, you genuinely think these things on a consistent basis. The only thing that can happen is you manifest a mirrored reality where other people think and feel those things about you too. That's it. And while I think some people maybe have different opinions on whether or not you need self-love to manifest a specific person. My opinion about that is if you want to manifest a relationship with your specific person that feels good to you, then yes, self-love better be part of the component because the moment you get back together with someone and you don't have self-love, all those fears and insecurities are just going to come up again. It's going to create the reality that has probably already been created where, you know, you know, it's just going to, it's going to push the manifestation away. If you don't feel worthy, if you don't feel amazing, if you don't feel adored, if you don't feel wanted, it's really hard to create a consistent relationship with someone where you feel those things. It's actually impossible. So this is why self-love is really the key to creating everything you want. So what's the deal with self-love and what I'm seeing for people who are doing it um, in a way that is getting them results and the way that people are doing it where it's not getting them results. There's really one distinction and it is this. The people who are doing self-love to genuinely love themselves and that is their first priority. They're not doing self-love to get a result, but they are doing self-love to genuinely love themselves. That becomes the main priority. Those are the ones who I see getting results. I actually get emails almost every day of people telling me about this transformation that they have experienced. And it's where they transition from focusing on their specific person in a primary way to focusing on themselves in a primary way. They become the primary priority. They become the center of their reality. They become entirely self-loving. And so many of the people who, um, you know, people who email me or maybe even leave comments in my YouTube channel, they talk about they, them making this transition from I used to focus primarily on what my specific person was doing and I started focusing on myself and I genuinely became self-loving. 
So I want to talk about what they say in terms of what like transformation they experience. And then I'm going to talk about how people do self-love in a way that's not really working to get the results you want. What they say is, number one, they get new results with their specific person. Their specific person starts to come back around. Their specific person starts to pay more attention to them. Their specific person starts contacting them. They start becoming pursued. Okay, so this they get new results with their specific person. And even more importantly, and these are the most beautiful success stories and emails that I get, and there there's so many of them, more importantly than that result, which is a great result, right? Because it's, it's what we want, it's what we've been manifesting. But even more importantly, the result is, I finally love myself. I finally think I'm amazing. I finally feel worthy. Do you know how big that is for for people to transition into genuinely, really deeply, in a very fulfilling way, feeling like they are special and amazing and beautiful? When we make that transition to really feeling self-love for ourselves, it's not trying to get another result. We're not trying to get something. We start to feel self-loving for ourselves. It is the greatest gift you could ever receive. And I hear it in the voices. I hear it in the gratitude. I hear it in the transformation. People, yes, they start getting results with their specific person, but more importantly, they freaking love themselves. And it's huge because it changes everything. If you love yourself, if you're there for yourself, if you hold yourself through the hard times, if you freaking know how amazing you are through all the good times and any time, you have a good life. Not only a good life, a great life. It is one of the biggest gifts we could ever receive and maybe the biggest gift, okay? So the self-love, the people who are doing self-love in a way that really gets results that they want, not only with their specific person, but in these other ways that I'm just speaking about, is they start doing self-love to genuinely love themselves. They're not trying to get a result. The people who are doing self-love in a way that isn't getting the results that they want is they're doing self-love to get a result with someone else. They're doing self-love to get their specific person. They're doing it as a technique to get the result with the other person. So why doesn't this work? Well, if we're trying to get a result with someone else, my done many videos on this. I'll post one up there. If we're trying to get a result with uh, a, a manifesting technique, if you're trying to get a result on the outside, if you're simply just kind of doing this technique to like follow the rules and do the things you're supposed to do to get that outer result, you're not actually changing yourself and you probably are still focused on the fact that you don't have that thing outside of you. It's like, we can't fake it. We can't fake who we are. We can't fake what we believe we have. We can't fake what we believe we deserve. We can't fake that. You can't fake it. You either are pretty landed in knowing I'm going to be with my specific person. I'm going to be in an amazing relationship. I'm going to be wanted. I am cherished. I am loved. You're either pretty landed in that or you're in the lack experience of, I don't have them. They don't want me, whatever it is. So those are the two polarized kind of um, opposites of what you can be feeling with it when it comes to a specific person. But your goal always is to move into the experience of, I'm loved. I'm wanted. Um, I'm cherished. I'm adored. And when you are consistently in that state of being, the outer reality does its own thing. You don't even have to worry about it. It's going to effortlessly mold and change to show you that you are those things. And so anyone who is doing self-love as a technique, I can tell when people are in this position and it's okay because you're just learning, but I can tell when people are in this position because they say, I've done self-love for a few weeks and I don't get results. Or I've done all the healing stuff and nothing's happening. Often that means that you're doing it to try to get the outer result. And what I suggest is you actually start moving into the direction of, okay, I'm going to actually start focusing on self-love for me. I'm going to do this for me. I want to feel 
wanted. I want to feel cherished. I want to feel adored. I want to love myself. When you transition into doing the practice for yourself, that's when unbelievable results are probably going to show up. So anyways, this is my video on self-love, how to do it, how not to do it. I would love to hear what you think about it in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.